Hey guys, welcome to this week's tutorial where we create a colourful and bright Memphis inspired cake. Loving this trend, as you can tell with my own business logo. So I'm working on a dummy, not something I do very often, but it's for a wedding fair. So it's a six inch round and it's roughly seven inch high. It's just been stuck to the drum with chocolate. Next, I'm coating the whole thing in veg fat, also known as Trex or Crisco. To see why I do my dummies this way, check out my how to strip a cake dummy tutorial. If this was real cake, you'd just dampen the ganache with water. Next, gather your colours together. I love Renshaws for this as they come in a nice bright range. I have some green, teal, yellow, orange, hot pink, baby blue and also some white which I can then mix with any of these colours to make different shades such as baby pink. Just take a ball of white and a pinch of hot pink to make it. This is how I mix all of my colours, I very rarely use gels. Now the fun but long bit. Pinch off balls of various colours and cluster them together. They don't have to be neat. Just add them to the outer edges to make a flat, colourful, chunky disc. Now make sure to dust your surface, you won't want this to stick. Begin gently rolling it out, making sure to keep moving it. Once it's big enough, lay it over the top of your cake and smooth it out. Trim off the overhang and put your offcuts to one side, you might need them. Now do the whole thing again, but bigger. Work fast so your balls of paste don't dry out. You're aiming for a rectangle shape and remember the piece will get bigger as you roll it out. Roll it and pat the sides in to tease it into a long rectangle. You want it as tall as your cake and long enough to wrap around it. Trim off the bottom and wrap it around your rolling pin to make it easier to handle. Stand the pin up against the cake, unrolling the paste and sticking it down as you go. Here you can see it doesn't quite reach. This is okay as we can fill in with the scrap cutoffs to make a seamless pattern. Just squash colours here and there to fill the gaps. Next, head round it with a smoother and cut off the bottom. Finally, take your acetate smoothers to blend all those extra pieces in and buff out any lumps and bumps. With a sharp scalpel, trim off the fold from the top to level it. Give it a quick sweep over the top edge to neaten it up. I have a full tutorial on sharp edges which I'll leave linked below. You should be left with a cool colourful tear. To make it pop we are teaming it with white. Cover the board using the toilet seat method. The full steps for this are also linked below along with all the tools and materials I use. Using some melted chocolate, attach a 5 inch white cake to the top. If yours is a real cake, just make sure to dowel it to support the weight. Now for the paint, we are going bold in black with rainbow dust. Take a brush and start painting wavy lines on the top tier. It doesn't have to be perfect, it looks hand drawn, which is exactly what we're looking for. With the same paint, add some little clusters of dots around the coloured tier.
it's handy form core again. If you're a regular around these parts of YouTube, you'll know how much I love this stuff and use it a lot. I'm just cutting out a triangle completely at random and then another smaller one to complement it. Just hold it up and then trim until you're happy with your arrangement. Coat the open form edges with piping gel so it sticks to the sugar paste. Lay over your colour of choice, I'm going for teal, and adhere the paste to your shape. Flip it over onto a foam pad and bring up the sides. Trim the base off and neaten up the two other folded edges. Do the exact same with your other shape in another colour. For the final decoration, grab some polystyrene balls in various sizes. It doesn't matter too much which you choose, and you'll need your balls of colours. Coat your ball in piping gel and stick on blobs of colour until it fills the outside. Firmly roll the ball between your hands to merge the colours and smooth out the paste. All done, continue with the other two sizes. Foam core is great at taking supports. I've inserted two cocktail sticks up inside. If you're working on a real cake, placing it in will be nice and easy. If you're working on a dummy like me, you'll need a bit more force and maybe even some pliers. Stick the other one on with some melted chocolate. As the balls are also polystyrene, they can easily be held into place with more cocktail sticks. I've stacked one on top of the other and then placed one on the side for more interest. And we're done. A striking and colourful throwback to the 80s and 90s. I got my colour inspiration from this screen. Yep, there is inspiration all around you, not just on other cakes. Look a bit further and see what you can turn into cake. I do have to say, this is one of my new favourites. If it's yours too, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I always try to read them. Thanks guys, see you next week.